and it couldn't have been written any more precisely. It's not like, oh, gee, we wish it were written better. It was written beautifully. So just listen. Here's what it says. This is what they're arguing. Whenever the President finds that the entry of any aliens, okay, the entry, the entry of any aliens, or of any class of aliens, so any aliens, any class of aliens, into the United States. So the entry of people into the United States, let's say, just to be precise, of aliens into the United States. So any, whenever the President finds that the entry of any alien or any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, right? So if I find as President that a person or a group of people will be detrimental to the interests of the United States, and certainly there's lots of examples that we have, but you shouldn't even have them necessarily. He may be, and he may, by proclamation, and for such period as he shall deem necessary. Now, the only mistake is they should have said he or she. But hopefully it won't be a she for at least another seven years. After that, I'm old. <laughs> See? I just noticed that, actually. Just noticed it. I'm saying, whoa, this is not politically correct. It's correct, but it's not politically correct, you know? This is the old days. He may, by proclamation, and for such period as he shall deem necessary. So here it is. People coming in. Suspend the entry of all aliens. Right? That's what it says. It's not like, again, a bad high school student would understand this. Anybody would understand this. Suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants. Or impose on the entry of aliens. Okay, so you can suspend the aliens, right? You can suspend the aliens from coming in. Very strong. Or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem to be appropriate. Okay. So you can suspend, you can put restrictions, you can do whatever you want. And this is for the security of the country, which, again, you're the chiefs, you're the sheriffs. You understand this. And I listened to lawyers on both sides last night, and they were talking about things that had just nothing to do with it. I listened to a panel of judges, and I'll comment on that. I will not comment on the statements made by uh, certainly one judge. But I have to be honest that if these judges wanted to, in my opinion, uh, help the court in terms of respect for the court, they do what they should be doing. I mean, it's, it's so sad. They should be, you know, when you read something so simple and so beautifully written and so perfectly written, other than the one statement, of course, uh, having to do with he or she, but when you read something so perfectly written and so clear to anybody, and then you have lawyers and you watched, I watched last night in amazement and I heard things that I couldn't believe. Things that really had nothing to do with what I just read. And I don't ever want to call a court biased, so I won't call it biased. And we haven't had a decision yet. But courts seem to be so political. And it would be so great for our justice system if they would be able to read a statement and do what's right. And that has to do with the security of our country, which is so important. Right now, we are at risk because of what happened. General Kelly is an extremely talented man and a very good man. Now Secretary Kelly, Homeland Security. We are doing our job. He's a great man. We're doing our job. 
And one of the reasons you probably heard that we did it so quickly, we, I would have, in fact, I said, let's give a one month notice. And then law enforcement, and General Kelly was so great because he said, we totally knew about it. We knew about everything. We do things well. We did things right. But the law enforcement people said to me, oh, you can't give a notice. Because if you give a notice, you're going to be really tough in one month from now or in one week from now. I suggested a month. Then I said, well, what about a week? They said, no, you can't do that because then people are going to pour in before the toughness goes on. Do you people agree? I mean, you know more about law than anybody, law enforcement. So I wanted to give like a month. Then I said, well, what about a week? They said, well, then you're going to have a whole pile of people, perhaps, perhaps, with very evil intentions coming in before the, the restrictions. So there it is, folks. It's as, it's as plain as you can have it. I didn't, and I was a good student. I understand things. I comprehend very well, okay? Better than, I think, almost anybody. And I want to tell you, I listened to a bunch of stuff last night on television that was disgraceful. It was disgraceful. Because what I just read to you is what we have. And it just can't be written any plainer or better and for us to be going through this. And by the way, a highly, highly respected judge in Boston ruled very strongly in our favor. You heard that. In fact, I said to my people, why don't you use the Boston case? And there were reasons why they couldn't use the Boston case. This one came later, various reasons. Uh, but use the Boston case. And I won't read that, but there were statements made by that judge who Again, highly respected, that were right on. They were perfect. They were perfect. So uh, I think it's sad. I think it's a sad day. I think our security is at risk today. And it will be at risk until such time as we are entitled and get what we are entitled to as citizens of this country, as chiefs, as sheriffs of this country. We want security. One of the reasons I was elected was because of law and order and security. That's one of the reasons I was elected. Also, jobs and lots of other things. But I think one of the strongest reasons is security. And they're taking away our weapons one by one. That's what they're doing. And you know it, and I know it, and you people have been very unhappy for a long period of time. And I can read the polls maybe better than anybody, because it seems that I understood the polls a lot better than many of the pollsters understood the polls, assuming they were honest polls, which I you know, think probably many of them weren't. I really believe that. But, but we need security in our country. We have to allow you folks to do your job. You're great people, great people, great men and women. And we have to allow you to do your job. And we have to give you the weapons that you need. And this is a weapon that you need. And they're trying to take it away from you, maybe because of politics or maybe because of political views. We can't let that happen. So with that, let's get on to business, right? That's really something.